um, I made this shield just out of um, four pieces of aluminium that I just had lying around. Thanks, Dad. I think it's a bit you gave me. Anyway, um, cut the sides out and I've just got it held in position. And I wanted some hinges. And I didn't want to muck about too much with the hinges. Uh, going, oh, well, you know, I've got this is an old thing I bought a long time ago. I can tell because it was 80 cents from Mitre 10. I don't know when I, <laughs> when I got them. But they, they're probably 30 years old and I haven't used them. But what I didn't want to have is metal or gal particularly. I think this is nickel plate, but oh, zinc plate. Mm, there you go. Zinc up against aluminium really tends to bite into it. So I wanted to have aluminium. And I saw this... Um, YouTube uh, clip a while back showing you how to make um, hinges and uh, I thought oh well, that might be an interesting thing to do so I have made an example here um, you can see there and that'll fold out like that um, and it's just two pieces of aluminium like that and you just cut them I'll put a link into the video that I used to decide how to do this so there's there's the hinge so um, how do you make them it's not that bit difficult so I've already made I've already made um, these parts for a number of them I thought I'd make sure I could do it before I showed or well, videoed anything. But I've just cut out this. This is 1.6 mil aluminium. And I've just more of that scrap. Um, and I've made them 40 millimeters long when I cut them. And I put them into the, my finger brake over there. Uh, um, and just put a little bend on the end. You could do that anyway. You know, put it in the vice without much lift on it and whack it. So how do we actually get that bent correctly? Well, I've made up this jig um, based on the one that I saw on this YouTube clip. So here it is. So here's the jig. So you just drill a hole. Mm, where's the camera? There's the camera. Um, and I just used my grinder with a cutting disc or angle grinder to cut that piece in you put the plate in and oil it a bit and then I was just whacking on there with a the hammer and it was messing it up a bit so I got this bit of off cut that I had lying around put a slot in it so now I'm not actually hitting on the end directly onto the end of that with a hammer um, and I also Put it onto the um, little um, belt sander I've got and took that edge focus a little bit off and it lets it roll in easier. So basically, you just put that on there and put this onto there, give it a whack, and as you're going through, you feed. A bit of the hinge wire that you want to use in there and uh, it just helps to fold it around and it's uh, it's working all right so I might film making a couple of them and uh, show you how and then yeah I'll just then you just cut out the tabs so yeah, it's working all right so I'll set this up and um, and do it alright so I put a little bit of oil on here put the piece in and uh, initially I don't put that on and just that Whack. it's folding around and then I just put the pin in and 
しろ And I'm assuming I, I cut that slot in this. So it's the right depth for the uh, for the, the amount I need it to go. And uh, now I just need to knock that out with a pin punch. If you're doing a lot of these, you'd set up something nicer than this. But I only need eight hinges, so I've got to do this 16 times. But there's the hinge piece. And I will um, just run a drill through there. This is welding wire. 2.5 to the hinge so I'll put in something just over 2.5 a drill through this or through these just to clear it out but even now even now I can get it's not terrible uh, yep so there's another one uh, probably I need to show the one don't I so I'll just keep doing that until I've finished. I've got another one, two, three, four, five, six to go. Um, so I'm over halfway. Well, I have the final product here. I tried it out today. And uh, so there's a little barbecue that fits into this bag as well. And so base needed a little strength so this is uh, aluminium from the base of an old picnic table that the glass smashed on and I just uh, milled out some feet uh, from it and, and riveted it on and so that sits this way around I believe with the additional extra hole that I accidentally drilled by marking it out incorrectly. And uh, I put 52 instead of 57 millimetres on my verniers. So here's the um, sides. That just folds out and around there. And then this one just folds out and around here. And so that just slides in there. Like that. And ditto. Can't really see well in here, but that's good. And three. And four. So here's a example of a hinge. I just drilled three holes on each side and moved to the on. And the whole thing fits together very easily. So I'm quite happy with it. And I tried it out today, and uh, there wasn't a lot of wind, but it actually. You know, everything cooked really well, so I'll um, keep having, uh, keep trying it out, <laughs> but so far so good. But yes, as a first time, these hinges are doing the job absolutely fine. So, another little trick that I've just learned. Thanks YouTube for the lessons.